Hey everybody, Nazi here, and now that Oxford Ad Week is over, was it a great one? Yes it was. We're back with Cook Serve. Delicious. Let's select our save. Let's select save one. Why not? Why not save one, hey? Uh, where did we leave off last time? We got a star for our restaurant. We can have a look at our active menu. I don't see much that I want to change, to be honest. Um, salad, poisson, which is fish, and francaise, which is French, for French. Uh, we've got the lasagna, PSCR, fantastical. Uh, here's our daily uh, boosts. I had a bad order. Fuck that. Fuck that. I didn't have a bad order. I had a bad customer who didn't enjoy their... Uh, what, what, what did I give them? I can't even remember. God, it was like a two weeks ago. Was it over two weeks ago? A week ago? No, not two weeks ago. Anyway, uh, what we can do is we can upgrade some stuff if we want to. I think we're going to save our money and upgrade the, uh, the fish. I think that is what we should do. Uh, for now, though, what we will do is... Let's just start a day. Start a new day. Let's rock and roll. Hope everyone out there is doing fantastic. We have got five thingy me jiggers now. Uh, one, cut and season the morning fish for you, madam. Absolutely. No worries at all. Nobody can beat the morning fish. Two, the morning salad. That was on a cheese, onion, peppers. We're back in the saddle. There's your fish, madam. Enjoy. $8 tip. Oh, don't mind if I do. Let's cut that and let's season that bad boy. Hello there, sir. You're looking fantastic today. So you're going with the uh, sleeveless white vest. Why not? Oh, well, looks like we've got a lumberjack in here. Hello there, sir. Just a bit of a joke between you, me and you, you know. You know, a bit of a... Bit of a joke there. <laughs> please, please pay for your order. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Here's your lasagna. Thank you, sir. Okay. So, hope everyone out there is doing good. So, what time did I wake up? Let's get out of the way. Half five. I know. I know. I know it's bad. I... You don't need to tell me. I'm the one who's wake. But the thing is, right? I set my alarm. And I wake up at... Like, what time did I actually set my alarm for? I think I set my alarm for one. And I wake up and I'm like, ah, it's good to be up. I could get up right now. But you know what? I'm going to have an extra two hours in bed. And I set my alarm again for two hours time. And then I go back to sleep for two hours. And then I do it again. And I do it again. And I do it again. And I do it again. Uh, so that's why. Oh, God. Look at this. Okay. We're all good here. Uh, four. Serve that. Oh, what? I pressed three! I pressed three! F fucking lasagna! I wanted to put out the trash. So this whole new having an extra dish thing is throwing me for a loop here. This season one. Oh god, cheese, greens, and carrots. Uh, four. Uh, five. Cut and season. Three. One. Cut and season. Two. Why, why, why did I think I could get away with chatting? Well, it's rush hour. There's a cheese, greens, and carrots. Okay, uh, five, serve that. Four, PSCR, PSCR, PSCR. One, two, uh, ranch, cheese, beans, crisp, onions, peppers. Uh, three, uh, cheese, greens, and carrots. One, flush and sanitize. Holy he Oh my god, I pressed the wrong button again. I was just was very lucky that the fourth order was ready to go because I pressed, I pressed number four there when I didn't mean to. So, it's going to get, take some getting used to, this whole having a new window thing. So, <clears throat> in my mind, the bottom one is not five. The bottom one is four. Okay? That's what's going wrong here. Uh, cheese and peppers. So, that's why I'm getting a bit confused by the last two. Because I think it's just how my brain files the information. It's like, if it's the bottom one, just pick the last number. So for me, the last number is still four, so I'm going to need to get used to the last number not being four, but the last number being five. But that's okay. I'll, uh, the first day on the job is a one-star restaurant. Sure, I give out some shit orders, but you know what? Who cares? I'm a one-star restaurant. I can live with that. Right, one, down and flush, sanitize. Three, four, uh, cheese and peppers. Alright, one, here we go, lift and throw, one, lift and throw, sanitize our hands, let's get these dishes out of the way. Ah, so yes, I am going to do an all nighter tonight. There's none of this cheese, mushrooms, peppers, and mushrooms, peppers. But it's because I have such great dreams, my, my dreams are just super interesting. Uh, ranch, cheese, bacon, uh, onions and peppers. The other day I had a dream uh, about Parv, um, and... Um, in the Yogg's cast, apparently we had come up with this new thing where we had to make a game if we were going to die, right? Okay, listen, I know it sounds strange, 
But <clears throat> if you were going to die, you had to come up with a game idea, right? A board game. And when you die, the people who knew you the best, like your, your core group of friends, got the board game. And if they ever wanted to remember you and your legacy, they played the board game, right? But you had to invent this board game. So if you were ever going to die, you have to come up with this. So Parv, something was wrong with him. And apparently he was going to die. And he was like, right, everyone, I've, I've come up with the game. Right? And he had actually made this board game. Hold on. It's Russia, isn't it? So I need to focus. And I'll tell you more about Parvis's board game. One, well, let's get these dishes out of the way. Right, four, uh, five, uh, three, two, four, one, cut and season, two, pull set, cheese, sanitize, five, three, up and throw, up and throw, sanitize, four, one, two, ranch cheese, eyes of peppers, three, ranch cheese, bacon of croutons, one, ranch cheese, mushroom tomatoes, two, ranch greens of carrots, three, one, PSCR, 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 two, uh, cheese, eyes of peppers, three, ranch cheese, mushroom tomatoes, uh, two, cut and season, three, uh, cut and season, one, four, PSCR, 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 one, cut and season, Two, I'm waiting for three, three, five, up and out, up and out and sanitize. Four, two, cut and season. One, three, down and flush. Four, PSCR, PSCR, PSCR. So, as I was saying, if you died, you ha if you were if you if you were given some sort of terminal illness or something, like you went to the doctor and were like, oh yeah, I'm sorry, you're gone or you've only got four months or something, you had to make this game. I know that's really morbid, um, but. Um, Something happened to Parv, and he was like, right, or maybe he was making his game early. I don't know what was happened to him, but he came up to us all, and we're at we're in Bristol, and he was like, right, I've made my game, and we're like, okay, what's the game then? And he had made what he had called chaotic battleships, um, and it was like, okay then. And what the game was was, it was battleships, but if your battleship got moved, uh, sorry, sorry, if your battleship got hit by a, a missile of the opponent then you could move the battleship on a rotation of the peg, right? So let's say, uh, so let's say I hit your battleship, right? And your battleship's on a uh, horizontal alignment. You could then move it around the peg to a vertical. And then that could maybe throw me off. And also in the ocean, there was these walls that you could build and um, they would take hits but they wouldn't actually ever be destroyed. So, like, I could say, oh, B5, and you say hit. And I'm like, right, okay, I've got something there. I could say B6, hit. I'm like, right, I've got some. And I could keep doing that, and I'm actually hitting a wall. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm thinking I'm hitting a ship, and it's taking my attention away from your actual ships. So you're kind of distracted and you're not you're not winning the game because you're focusing on a wall rather than on a ship. And you could move your ships, like, alongside the wall and I was like this is a brilliant game path so that was one of my dreams that kind of kept me sleeping you know sometimes I wake up and I'm like oh that was a great dream I'm gonna go back to bed oh one customer 1000 customers served fantastic we need to just do 20 days of service upgrade five foods right two safety inspections and complete two catering services okay french fries upgrades now available uh if right, we'll come back to that chef risotto congratulates you you seem to be moving along quite well. Why? In no time at all, you'll be ready to compete on my television show, Iron Cook. I don't have any audience tickets at the moment, but please take these mysterious tickets I found instead. They seem to be worth something, I think. Take care, and I'll see you in the arena soon. Two mysterious tickets, okay. A note about prep stations. You'll notice the difficulty increase from new prep station. Now is entirely uh, more patient stuff, yep. Menu rots occurring. Fine. Steam leaderboard challenge. Don't really care. Established butane hoodie. Don't go to Mexico without it. it. Call extension 299 and we will defeat your enemies without caution. Well, that's just wonderful. Thank you. So let's have a look at our menu. See what's menu rotting. The fish and the lasagna have menu rot. So what we'll make is... Burgers. Uh, oh, fucking 64% buzz. Hello, sailor. Uh, there, that and... I don't want to put pizza on. I don't want to put fries on. I don't want to put sopapillas on. Beer. Kind of want to put beer on, but it's a bit of a tricky one. Mm, fried chicken. <sighs> crazy analysis, crazy fried chicken. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> From the old, um, the old, uh, the old joke. Them yolks. Right, we could upgrade the, the fish, actually. But, 
since we've not got the fish on the menu, there's no real point. Let's have a look at the equipment that we could buy. That's for pastas. What else have we got? Uh, we've bought all that. Air conditioning. We could get air conditioning. And so I want to keep those customers extra patient. Let's do that. Let's get the air conditioning. Okay. And then uh, after day, hopefully we'll earn $600 today. Fingers crossed. Actually, that's quite a lot to ask. Uh, we will make some... Uh, we'll upgrade the fish uh, the day after. Yes, I think that's wise. I think that's a smart idea. Hello there, sir. What in the BLT? You got it. Enjoy. Enjoy that. I've never went into a burger joint and asked for a BLT. Like, I can't imagine doing that. Has anyone done that before? Have you ever asked for a burger without the burger and just... I suppose if you're vegetarian, they don't have a vegetarian option, but I can't imagine a restaurant nowadays not having a vegetarian option. Meat, meat, lettuce, uh, bacon, cheese and tomato. And three and one patty. Uh, I think actually, I think this lady here is after it. The lone patty. Uh, meat only. Like that, to me, actually looks quite nice. Just like a nice slice of meat <laughs> between two buns. <laughs> right, cheese, mushrooms, tomatoes. Like I don't, I, I don't like a lot of meat products actually. Meat only. I know a lonely patty. Uh, my meat patty. I actually eat quite vegetarian uh, a lot of the time. I do eat meat now and again. I'm not a vegetarian, of course. Otherwise, I would never eat meat. Um, but I, I do try and avoid if I can. What have we got? Meat and tomatoes. Sure. Three down and flush. Two meat, meat, meat. We're supposed to get a new class of um, people coming to our restaurant, but I haven't seen them so far. Right, it's meat, meat, meat and cheese. Three meat patty. Four thousand uh, cheese bomb. Uh, one thousand uh, cheese bacon's onions and greens and carrots. Five. Let's get these fried chickens out the way. Plate those. Three uh, meat, lettuce, bacon, cheese, tomatoes. True. Mm -mm -mm. Up and so. Size size. Four. Oh my gosh, that's close. Right, one, uh, meat, meat, meat. Three, uh, bacon and cheese. Four, uh, meat. Five, down. And plate. Two, down and cheese, bacon and croutons. One, meat, meat, meat and cheese. Four, meat, lettuce, uh, bacon, cheese and tomatoes. Three, pool set, cheese, satires. Fa five. There's our cheese, onions and peppers. Three, ranch cheese, bacon and croutons. One, down. Fried chicken, coming right up. Two, bacon, lettuce, tomatoes, done. Three, meat, meat, meat. Four, meat. Five. Oh, shit. Five. Damn it! Flip! I'm so used to it not being on five. Oh my god! One ass, uh, ranch, greens, and carrots. Uh, four, bacon, cheese. Three, meat, meat, meat. Five, up and out, up and out. Sanitize. It's so hard to get used to meat. Four, ranch, cheese, bomb. Three, meat, 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 bacon, cheese. Two, wash those dishes. One, meat and tomatoes. Five T. Uh, ranch cheese mushrooms tomatoes, sure. Four. I'm just so used to four being the last number, I keep hitting it. It's really difficult not to do. Alright, one, one patty, two, BLT. Three. There's uh, cheese, beans, greens, and honey peppers, greens, and carrots. The three thousand, I think that should be our staple menu. Uh, not our staple menu. Our uh, like special or like our what do they call it in restaurants? How special? Is that what they call it? I think that's exactly what they call it, because so many people come in and order that, and it's such a big, it's such a big dish as well. One fried chicken order, coming right up. Our fried chicken order. Oh no, oh no, it should be okay. Three, meat, meat, meat and cheese. Fried chicken, man. Seriously, I hate it. The fried chicken is an asshole because it just takes so long. There we go. Up and out and up and out. Thank you. Alright, the Manhattan Ranch Cheese and Bombega. One, meat patty. Three, thousand out cheese, bacon, croutons. Two, down and flush. Uh, four, dunk these goddamn fried chickens. One, uh, meat, bacon, cheese, cheese, tomatoes. 
Right, three is get these dishes done. Two, fried chicken. You got it. There you go. Five, fried chicken. You got it. Go. Three, fried chicken. You got it. Oh no. One, ranch, greens, and carrots. Four, that's not cheese, onions, peppers. Five, ranch, cheese, onions, peppers. Uh, three, tea. Two, BLT. Four, bacon cheese. One, fried chicken. You got it. So I'm glad uh, you're all still enjoying Cook Serve Delicious. There was a lot of comments during Octodad Week. My god, what a game Octodad was. Wasn't that a great game? I flipping loved it. I'm really happy they did such a great job of it. Like, uh, I actually went back, ranch cheese beans with onion peppers. Someone on the subreddit found my old Octodad video. There's a uh, cheese beans with onion peppers, greens, carrots. And uh, lettuce, bacon, cheese, tomatoes. Three. Someone found my old Octodad video and I, I watched that. My god, the, the old Octodad game was not as, as nice as the new one. I didn't realise just how um, much they did for the new one. It looks fantastic in comparison. Like, seriously, fantastic game. Right, one, one, two, three, two, ranch cheese, bacon, croutons, three. Uh, so yeah, wonderful game. I really loved it. A, a week worth of fantastic content, I think. Uh, ranch cheese, I'm glad you all stuck around and enjoyed it, because I certainly did. That was a really great week of videos for me. Fun, fun game. And after BLT Chi, uh, five pull set cheese sanitize. Two, where are you going so quick? I don't think so, sir. Fried chicken order, here you go. Three, meat, meat. One, I found the cheese bomb. Four, uh, meat. After, like, um, doing the video, I went back and got all the ties. I actually, before the video uh, finished rendering, I had done all the ties. Uh, meat, bacon, cheese, cheese, and tomatoes. A 50 combo is not bad. We've got enough to upgrade our, um, our fish. Yeah, we got one bad order. I made a big mistake in the middle there. I deserve to have that bad order there. And we also missed a chore as well, which, is, uh, yeah, we suck. Um, but there you go. All right, continue. Salad upgrades available. Ooh, an upgrade to the salad is available if you have purchased another upgrade. Okay. Lawsuit settled. Oh, my. The lawsuit People vs O'Hara has been settled. Your judgment is below. Under the ground duty, stay within 100 yards of any fire hydrant. What? All attorney fees have been taken out of your portion of the funds you received today. Thank you. $50. Well, that's just wonderful. A silver ticket. Yeah, I don't really have any interest in doing these Steam achievement ones. Because um, if I click there, what is it? One time, the lumberjack. Active menu, not ready. What is it? Steam leaderboard. Try, try competing for the most combos by having only the following foods on your menu. Um, I see. So I have to have all of these things on my menu. That's weird. That's weird and confusing. There's a bet available. What is this? Get 40 times perfect combo stay with the following foods on your menu. Oh, that's interesting. Oh man, that's actually pretty good. Huh. Be sure to have proper foods on your menu. Play them with. I could do that. Interesting. Okay, Daily Fortune 10. The path to monetary fortune is a long, terrible road, but there are fortunes to be had aside from riches. Animal to avoid today's zebra. Well, that's just... I'm going to have to fucking cancel my trip to the zoo then, aren't I? Great. All right, catering events. Doesn't look like there's any other catering events. Nope. Of course. And let's upgrade our food. I can upgrade salad. Let's have a look at what the actual salad upgrade is. A $12 uh, menu. Uh, price. Finally, classic Italy's oil and vinegar is here. This classic dressing is sure to please your customers with delicious tastes of vegetables and oils and will improve income and variety too. Upgrade today. Upgrade is good classic Italy's oil and vinegar as well as six new recipe cards. Okay, so it makes it a three star salad. Uh, let's upgrade the fish. Let's upgrade because that doubles the bloody price of it. That is huge. Yes. Fish upgrade. Uh, yes. So let's look at our active menu. Let's stick the fish on there. Let's get rid of them goddamn thingies, whatever they're called. Um, they're called chef fried chicken uh, drumsticks. That's what they're called. I forgot the name of them there. Right, I think that's good. I think this is a good uh, menu overall. Yes, let's go with this. Shall we rock and roll? I could actually put something else on there, I suppose. What's going to put in there? I could put fried chicken on there as well. Uh, I kind of want them to order these big foods, though, so I don't want them to be tempted by that chicken. 
Yeah, let's just start a new day. We can do it. Today's the day. Nazi's gonna get used to having the fifth thing on the menu. One. What is this? Fill it the fish. Look at that big bastard. Look at that. Bang. You're getting some fucking bang for your buck here, I'll tell you. Welcome to Shea Nalzi. If that's what they say. She. How she means? What does she mean? Does it mean house? Three. Oh, they're all coming for the fish. The morning fish. Everyone's a fan of the morning fish. There we go. Two. Have your lasagna. There you go. Three. Enjoy your morning fish there, sir. You're going to love that. It's just off the boat. That's what they say when it's a fresh fish. All right. Three. Uh, ranch, cheese, onions and peppers. I think we should get the, um, the, the the oil for the salad. I think that would be a good upgrade, actually. Because salad's one of our best dishes. Cheese, onions and peppers. Do, 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 Ah, man, it's a great day at the Sheriff's Soda Town. I'm feeling fantastic. I'm gonna have a quick drink here. Mm. Ah. Refreshing. There's a um, cheese and bomb again. Two, down and flush. Three cheese, onions, peppers. You got it. Nice hat, sir. No tip. Shit hat, actually. Uh, ranch cheese, bacon. Oh, no, no, no! Take off the onions. Bring us a new salad. Damn it! Look, those onions are free. They're on the house. Fuck. I need to stop making so many fucking mistakes in this goddamn game. Does, does everyone else make as many mistakes as I do? Like, am I the only one? For those of you who play Cook Server Delicious, because I know a lot of you have bought the game since watching me play it, um, have have a lot of you been making mistakes, or am I just shit? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's the whole because you know commentating over a game is pretty hard, everyone. Uh, I can I can use that excuse. Uh, ranch and cheese. How did I give him onions to purpose? He didn't want onions to purpose. What fucking ass? I am. All right, three. There you go. Five. Ranch cheese bomb again. Four. One. Right. Rush hour is upon us. We're serving tons of this lovely fish. Uh, cheese greens and carrots. Two. So left and throw. Left and throw and satise. Uh, get all the chores out of the way. Let's get rid of that fish. In between flushing the toilet and doing the dishes, we'll serve some fish. Why not? Yum. Toilet fish. <laughs> right. Hello. Here's your lasagna. I mean, am I making too many mistakes? Am, am I rushing it? Should I just take it slower? Because I feel that if I take it slower, I'll, I'll overthink what I'm doing and I'll make more mistakes. Like this PSCR, if I was individually pressing the keys, I think I would make more mistakes. You know, I'm, I'm relying on my muscle memory to take over and, and give me the right answer. Uh, I'm, I feel really bad about that guy's salad. I wish I could get him in here and you know, like apologize, give him a new f fresh salad. One that doesn't have onions and peppers on it. That doesn't have the right fucking toppings. I know it doesn't. It doesn't have CR. It's only like PS, CR, PS, CR, PS. What, what, what's wrong with me? Enjoy your bad salad. I know I'm uh, bad lasagna. I don't even know what it is. <sighs> Flip on a stick. Four. Let's get rid of this. There we go. Uh, five. Let's cut that and season. Three, two. There's our cheese, greens, and carrots. Oh man, too many mistakes. Two average orders today. That's just poor stuff. I maybe I'm not. Maybe I don't deserve this um, two-star uh, restaurant business. Maybe I should go back to one-star, sl slinging burgers off a van. Maybe that's what I need. Maybe that's what I am destined to become. Uh, maybe I should go back to our stochka. You know, back to the uh, the old booth. Uh, Miss Papers, please. That was a great game. It'd be awesome if they did DLC. They wouldn't do DLC for it. I don't think for the type of game it is. I would have been surprised if they did. But it'd be nice if they placed some additional content on that game. Alright, one. Two. Uh, pool set cheese and salad. Is under one. Uh, ranch cheese mushrooms. Sure. Two. Let's cut that. And let's season that. Three. Four. Let's get these dishes out of the way. And let's do the toilet as well just to get room. And let's do the uh, trash as well. Satize, uh, four, cut and season and serve, one. Uh, mushrooms, tomatoes, queen's cats, wrong. <sighs> Fill the fish. Oh my god, J everyone get out of the restaurant, okay? The f food is off the menu. Food is off the menu because I don't deserve to serve any food at all. I deserve to be in the cheese. 
Let's just five ranch of cheese, one PSDR, PSDR, PSDR. There you go, three ranch of cheese, or four. Let's cut that and season that. Okay, five. There you go. Two ranch of cheese, one, three, four, one, a uh, thousand cheese, greens, and carrots. Two, cut, season. Uh, four. Is this Russia? Wait, that wasn't Russia. Were? Five. Up and out. Up and out. Sanitize. No, that wasn't Russia. I'm not in Russia either. Just greens and carrots, sure. Oh, brother. Right, there you go. Right, ranch and cheese, sure. One. Let's do this. Let's try and get some semblance of a combo before the end of the day. Anyway. Two hours to go. We've got so much buzz. 75% buzz. That is so much. I mean, I don't understand. I'm going to have to check my buzz thing because we've got so much buzz. I'm making like tons of mistakes. Maybe people are buzzing over the mistakes. They're like, oh, yeah, if you go to the Cook Serve Delicious restaurant, you ask for just bacons and croutons. Maybe they'll give you mushrooms and peppers and onions and stuff for free. Um, thank God it didn't let me serve that. I only put two layers on there. And I pressed enter as well and it didn't let me serve it. Bit of a flaw there, a bit of a bug in the game, I think. Five season. Thank goodness that was a perfect order. That's nice cheese bomb yeah. Nice late night Manhattan for you there, sir. Enjoy. Enjoy your five fish there. Oh god. What a disaster that was. Three average. What am I doing? What am I doing? I don't understand. I don't I don't know. Ice cream upgrade is available. Vine. Crazy Dave's bet number three. You seem good, but not that good. I bet if you had soup on your menu, you could make tw you couldn't make twenty perfect orders in a row. I only accept the bet if you have soup in your menu, though. So if you think you got it, let's bet three hundred dollars. I don't have food. I don't have soup. Specialty food is it? I remember Sips saying that if you had f soup, it's actually one of the foods. It's like you really feel like you're cooking. That's what that was how he described it. Uh, there is here soups. Soups have been a classic dish. The main restaurant. Yeah. Uh, I don't have it. I'll buy it. I'll buy the um, I'll buy the stove, and then I can buy pasta as well. Pasta's probably a really good one to have on a menu. Ah, boy. Oh boy. New catering jobs available. A new catering job is look. Ah, okay. A new item's available. The carryout service available. Oh, okay, interesting. And my daily fortune. Don't be selfish, or you'll find yourself with little. Give big, and your gifts will be hard to contain. And avoid any rabbits today. Okay. Upgrade uh, equipment. I want to look at this carryout service. Next page. Here we go. Customers love carryout service and each to go ready food. Wait. Customers love carryout service and each to go ready food listed under the boosters and tractors will add plus 2.5% buzz for each one on the active menu. Oh, I see. Oh, I see that to go foods can. I see. So I get a bu uh, a buzz boost. So I, I thought. That's a shame. I thought it gave me extra money. For $1,800, it should give me some extra cash, to be honest. If people were making foods to go, then it'd be quite interesting if they could, you know, pay more to kind of take them out or something. I don't know. Fried foods fun. Let's do this event. Okay. A sales of the P900 white card stock is flying like crazy. I thought I'd give the office a little fried fiesta of sorts. Just make sure we get at least 18 people served and no more than three bad orders and I'll gladly pay $25 a plate. Let's party. Okay, let's begin. 18 good orders, $25 a plate. This guy wants some fries. Enjoy. With salt. You got it. There's your A. Okay, you want some sopapillas? Enjoy. I think he's got a balloon. Sugar, enjoy. One. So it's S and E, S and E, no sugar. Okay, here we go. All the fries, all the fries. Enjoy. Light, light fast fries, no salt, you got it. Silver peas, no sugar, you got it. This is gonna be easy. It's, I think it's gonna get hard soon, though. Because these A's and S's, no salt, sure. I can feel them getting harder. I can. That's what she said, <laughs> with sugar. Enjoy. Two. Lovely animal on his head there. I don't know if you saw it. There you go. One at a time, please. Look at this. It's just bang, bang, bang. It's just one at a time, man. This is easy. With salt. There you go. With salt, sure. I'm a fast fries with salt kind of guy. I love a bit of salt. I do. Love it. Sopapillas I've never had, but I can imagine I'd want them with sugar. 
because if you're going to do something, you might as well do it right. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that guy's got his um, balloon animal on backwards there. Good, good job. With sugar. Hello. Sure. There you go. Two. When you want with salt, you got it. There's your salt. No salt on these. You sure? I think places like McDonald's pre-salt them before they cook them. Um, so like, they don't put the salt on afterwards, like I'm doing. They put them on before and they cook it in salt. So they're all salted. Uh, with salt, sure. And no sugar on top, you got it. Ah, we actually had a little bit of a break there. With salt. Two seconds left. With salt. Oh, there we go. Man, that was delicious. Great work, and we'll pay $625 for the 25 people you served today. I'll definitely recommend your restaurant to everyone I know. Good. Thank you. Right, so we've done two uh, catering events. I'm pretty sure that was a prerequisite for uh, the three, the second star. We're a one star. I said we're a two star restaurant earlier, didn't I? We're a one star restaurant, of course. Right, uh, let's buy equipment. Let's buy the stove station. And now let's buy the soup. Uh, foods. There it is. Try, let's try it first, actually. See what it's like. Soup. All right, hello. Uh, soup de jour, bow tie noodles, uh, W, bouillon cubes, sure, seasoning, uh, tomatoes, three, sure. Tomato, tomato, tomato. What? Wait, what? It didn't put in all the tomatoes. Take your bad order out of here. I want to have. Why don't try that again? Right, chicken, bow tie noodles. Oh my god, this is hard. Bouillon cubes and celery. Why, why, why? Why want to take the other celery? Hum. Oh, knife cut. Oh shit! Is that that? Oh my god, that's hard. That's really hard. This is what Sips meant. Sips said you really feel like you're cooking with soup. Perfect order of soup, at least. All right, what do you want? Chicken, uh, bow tie noodles, sure. W billion cube, of course. And you want celery, so why? And it's one, two, three. Oh my lord, this is difficult. Let that boil. Okay, get out of here. Alright, let's try one more tester. Alright, yeah, this is good, right? So, uh, bow tie noodles and bouillon cube seasoning. And you want tomatoes, so one, two, three. Carrots, one, two, three. And celery, one, two, three. Oh my gosh, the amount of upgrades I imagine are available for this is huge as well. I just I think I just need to manually focus on the soup when I'm when I'm cooking it. There you go. Right. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Let's try it out on the menu for our next video. Uh, I got it. I got to start. I got to start somewhere, folks. And soup is a good one. It doesn't it's not to go though, is it? It is a staple food though. Big Tipper. Let's purchase it. We can't take that bet though, can we? Because the um, oh the the mail's gone. This one, I can't take the bet because it would be minus three hundred dollars. All right, what do you think, folks? Should I go for the soup, or should I just do another day? Leave your comments below, and I will act accordingly. Hope you're having a good day, and I'll catch you next time. If you enjoyed the video and you're glad that Cook Serve Delicious is still kicking around, then please do leave a like below and drop a comment if you fancy. See you all later. Bye. This is my outro song so that the vid doesn't end too who suddenly. Be sure to click like and fave and drop a comment if you think that you want to. Oh, oh, and there's tons of other stuff for you to click in the in the background for you. So go out, go ahead and do that. Thanks for watching the vid, you beautiful people.
That is all for now. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you all later. Oh God! Bye. Seriously, why are you still watching us? Go and subscribe and drop a comment below. God damn you! Stop watching video. Click fave, drop a comment, I think you want to, but if you don't, well that's your opinion, I guess.